Titration involves the addition of a solution whose concentration is known, also known as the titrant, to a solution whose concentration is unknown, or the analyte. The volume of the titrant required to react completely with the analyte is measured. An indicator, phenolphthalein, is added to the solution to mark the point at which the two quantities reach equivalence. At the equivalence point, the moles of acid are equal to the moles of base. So today's titrant would be R NaOH. So titrant would be our 0.25 molar NaOH. The analyte, the one that we don't know the concentration of, we're going to be adding NaOH to in trial one. acetic acid. And then in trial two, we're going to add NaOH to hydrochloric acid. Set up the ring stand with the burette and clamp. Make sure the burette stays vertical at all times. So. That's the burette, y'all. Second step is to ensure that our burette has the uh, cork stop horizontal. Horizontal, remember, horizon. That's an easy way to remember horizontal. This is vertical, where the liquid would go through. Horizontal stops the liquid. So it is indeed horizontal. So we're gonna place a funnel at the top of our burette. So taking the funnel here, putting it at the top so that I could easily pour my base, the titrant, into the burette. Now it's time to add my sodium hydroxide. So I'm gonna carefully pour it in and fill it up all the way to the top. Very close. And there it is, y'all. at zero. Now I'm gonna position my burette above this platform here. Making sure my earl of my flask fits beneath. Perfect. So the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna be Measuring out five milliliters of acetic acid. We have our acid here. So, acetic acid, we're gonna measure out five milliliters. Okay, it's exactly five. And so I'm going to pour the contents into my Erlenmeyer flask. The next step is to add two to three drops of phenolphthalein into my Erlenmeyer flask. One, two, three. Shake it and then I'm going to be placing a white sheet underneath uh, to detect any color change. So let's move on to our next step. Now we're ready to begin titrating. Using a steady stream, carefully add one milliliter of sodium hydroxide from your burette to the Erlenmeyer flask and swirl to mix. Continue adding one milliliter increments 
and swirling to mix until you begin to see a pink color. The pink color should appear briefly and then quickly disappear. And that was one. It should appear and then disappear. Okay. And then we'll release it again. Two milliliters. Yeah, three milliliters. So the pink is persisting. We're going to go drop by drop. And then it looks like the color change is persistent. So this gel is what is called the perfect pink. Again, I take it off the paper. Without the paper, it doesn't look like there's much of color change. But with the paper, we see that it is barely pink. Moles of acid equals moles of base. Ooh, so beautiful, so beautiful. Let's go up. So we have it right here, y'all. That's your final volume. Four point something. I'm gonna let y'all record that. Four point something. <laughs> 